pork ribs and chicken drumstick. Look at that, guys. Ooh, I'm about to shit. Hi, guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hope all is well, and if not all, most things are. Welcome to another one of my cooking video, and today I'm going to be making some lovely, lovely stew pea with some drumstick and some pork ribs. You understand me? Yeah. Jamaican way of cooking stew peas, not with big tail, not with ox tail, with what? Drumstick and pork ribs. Yeah, you get that right. So let's get this show started. Take a look on my board and see what's going on. And guys, please remember to like, share, and comment. Like the video. You know, just press that little thing right there. Give me a thumbs up. You understand me? But guess what? Let's get cooking. Stew peas with drumstick and I just told you, just drumstick told you. and pork ribs. You get that right. Look what's going on. As you can see on my board, I have me scallion, onion, scotch bonnet pepper, butter, I got black pepper, coconut milk, allspice, aka pimento seed, adobo all purpose, garlic powder, and the main part of the dish. Look at that, guys. This two piece is going to be made with drumstick and some pork ribs. Look at this guys. Ooh, I can't wait to dig in into this. And right here, the next main ingredient is the peas. It's already on the fire. Why I didn't add the, the drumstick in it or the pork ribs is because these meat are soft. So I'm allowing the peas to boil um, to like half cook before I add it into it. But I'll show you guys step by step as I go along. Stay tuned, watch the video until the end, and like, share, and comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the Aris family. Catch you on the flip side. Alright, let's get these drumsticks stripped and cut up and cut my pork ribs to the size that I need. Alrighty. So as you can see my meat is well cut up, washed and ready to go into the pot with the peas. So I'm just going to add this into the pot right now so it can cook with the peas. The peas is almost ready so it's the right time to add it in because the meat is not tough. That is why I let the peas cook for about 20-25 minutes before adding in the meat in it because the chicken drumstick is soft, it's, it's not hard like ox tail or you know pig tail or so forth and the pork ribs it's soft also. That is why I, you know, add it in um, late. Let's take time and add in these in it. Let these cook together. And then I'll get my flour kneaded up for my spinners. Get my seasoning then cut up and ready to go. And I'll check back on you guys on the flip side. Spinners. I don't want too much. I'm just gonna add a little bit of cornmeal to this and a little bit of salt. You know, just a pinch of salt because it's not a lot of flour. And I'm gonna add my cornmeal and get my dough kneaded up to make my spinners. The dough is ready to make my spinners as soon as the pot is ready for it. Yep. Let's check and see what's going on. Yeah, looking lovely. 
you can see my meat is taking on the color of the peas yep looking lovely looking lovely let me see what's going on with my peas how far they are in their cooking process still have a way to go but that's all right so i'm just gonna let it stay there and cook until the peas is soft then I can add the rest of my ingredients, my coconut milk, my flour, you understand me? I already have some rice on the fire, so that's a plus. You know, just stay tuned, watch the video until the video ends. You understand me guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend to check out these amazing dish, dishes, you know? Come on, look at that, stew peas with chicken and pork ribs normally when you're making stew peas you either use ox tail or pig tail but this is a different type of stew peas stew peas with chicken drumstick and pork ribs it's amazing it's gonna be really delicious all right let's take check and see what's going on now Ooh, that is beautiful guys that is beautiful look at that Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Test the texture of these meat. Not even the chicken, but like the, um, the pork ribs. Yeah, that's good. See? Fork run right through it. That means uh, it's ready. You know, it's a sign of ready. Chicken is already cooked. You know, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add my coconut milk in it. Coconut milk and let it simmer down, boil to the coconut milk start to get um, like custard yeah. and then add the rest of my stuff in it, the rest of my seasoning. You know, yeah, this is gonna be lovely, guys. This is gonna be lovely, very delicious and lovely. As you can see, I already have what, white rice ready, and you don't know, stew peas cannot go without white rice. You understand me? Just like how Skelly and can leave without time. You understand? But stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Stay until the end and enjoy this video. Like, share, comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend to do it. You know the strips. Support the growth. Catch you on the flip side. Say bye. Not bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy right there. But I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Alright guys, let's take a look and see what's going on now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ready for my flower now. My spinners. You know. Yeah, could, could allow the water to boil down some more. But you know, I'm just going to add my stuff in it. And if it still look like it's too much, I can just take out um, what I don't need. And in the finishing process, if I do need it. I can add it back to it but let's get my spinners and my seasoning in so making the spinners you just need them like this you know just some little spinners this is what we call spinners you know if you have never eat two peas comment down in the comment section and let me know no Nigel you can't put your dumpling in my pot your dumpling a play pot this is a real pot you see me? Later on when you're much older we can cook together and use the same pot. Okay daddy? I love you. Yep. I'm gonna teach you all of what I know. Yeah, we're definitely gonna teach you, sir. So alright guys, I'll catch you guys back when I finish putting all of these stuff. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add my seasoning them same time. Thyme, scallion, bell pepper and onion and garlic everything in you understand i'm gonna just drop a scotch bonnet pepper on it if i need to burst it i'll burst it later on but i'll catch you guys when i finish putting my spinners and i'll show you guys step by step on this um video okay i'm not leaving you guys out so stay tuned don't move a muscle all right
right so as you can see all of my spinners are in my seasoning are in and everything so I'm just going to add my powder seasoning now and all of those things so right here I have um, some allspice aka pimento seed that gone in half teaspoon black pepper one teaspoon garlic powder one and a half teaspoon of all day and I'm just going to test this, taste it and see if it's on the flavor it has the flavor that I'm looking for so look at that guys beautiful right beautiful Stew peas with drumstick and pork ribs. I just taste it, tastes good. So I'm gonna add me some butter now and I'll get you guys back when they simmer down some more. Let's see what's going on. So Oh my god guys, if you could only smell the aroma that is kicking up in here guys, look at that. Lovely, lovely stew peas. You understand me? Yeah, so let me taste and see what's going on. Mmm, delicious. Alright, so right now this, you see what I'm mixing up right here guys, is just something to, you know, give the, 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 the stew peas a little texture. You understand me? So this is just flour. Some people use cornstarch. I don't like to put cornstarch in my food. I rather to use flour. You understand me? So I'm gonna do is just take time, pour this in, and mix while I'm pouring. You understand me? Yeah. Mix while I'm pouring. And you see what it? You see? You see what it, 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 it did? You see what it did? Look at this, guys. Look at this. And this is right here. When this is ready, this is ready. You yeah, understand me? This is ready. Thank you guys for joining me on this video of making my lovely, lovely stew peas. Look at this. Made from pork ribs and chicken drumstick. Look at that, guys. Ooh. I'm about to share this out right now with a nice bowl of white rice and get some food eat. I haven't eaten no food from morning apart from my breakfast. You understand me? So this is going to be well enjoyed. You understand me guys? Okay guys, it's time to share some food and eat some food. You understand? Yeah man. Look at that guys, look at that, beautiful, look at that, beautiful stew peas, white rice, plantain and vegetable, look at that guys, Ooh. look at that, that's amazing, mm, guys I can't take it no more, I gotta go, bye, I gotta get some food eat right now. I'll catch you on another video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye, guys.